Hey everybody, um, it's Sadie Herbal Marie Cherico. I'm standing next to a great friend of mine I want to introduce you. Her name is Althea um, and she's really moist and <laughs> she's a lifesaver and I don't know what I would do without her. Like in my life, in my garden, um, she really literally I appreciate her more and more and more, but especially during the drier winter months and after having a bout of sickness and having a really dry sore throat. Oh my God, is that a spider? It is a spider right in front of my face. Um, and out here, <laughs> I'm so distracted with this spider. So I want to show you how I harvest her seeds and then how I make her slimy water and and yes even the spiders love her hey Althea what's up so this is marshmallow yeah Althea is her Latin name her real name so when I say I'm making marshmallow water I probably could say I'm making Althea water and then people would stop getting confused and putting marshmallows into their water <laughs> like people are like no nah, man i don't use lemon in my water anymore herbal marie said to put marshmallows in there uh, <laughs> so these are the seeds so most of her plant is 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 dying now she gets these nice big leaves and they feel like velvet um, but now they've pretty much all fallen off and crumbled off. I don't, I'm trying to see if I can even find one to show you. They're really soft and velvety. I'm sure I've done videos, um, before, but today we're just going to do the seeds. So I got a little, a bowl here and yes, now I'm wondering how I'm going to do this one handed. Um, but I'm going to put the seeds in this bowl there's, they look like little like pinwheely things here. Hold on, let's see if I can get one right in front of my face. Um, like little. Um, yeah, there are these little like. I don't know why I keep saying pinwheel, but that just was little my little cheese round or something. But anyways, in in these um things. I don't know if any of them came out. Yeah, there they are. There's some of her seeds. So let me pick out the stuff and show you just the seeds. All right, so yeah, that little round thing, roundish thing <laughs> is the seeds. Um, okay, in the light, do you wanna see them? So I never really like would think that I would really wanna grow like, uh, like, a monocrop like one plant however I might actually consider growing more than needed of this plant only because I can think of so many people that it would benefit like people with dry mouth um, people with sore throats uh, people with urinary tract infections um, yeah and yeah just an overall moistening of everything but when you're in that state you're in that state of having such a dry throat that like it's making you emotional it hurts it's so sore um and you don't like water doesn't make it feel good you're sick of cough drops because you know there's a point where you get sick of cough drops like real quick <laughs> you know it's like you've squ squeezed a whole bottle of honey um, in your mouth and that does help absolutely but I feel like this plant could help so many people so I'm going to save um, seeds this year so that maybe next year I can find a new growing spot for it um, if you can order uh, marshmallow or Althea seeds um, probably maybe rare seeds Baker's Creek might have it or Strictly Medicinals but if you can find some and plant some in your area or even like 
on the edges of your property or like it likes moist soil but it does well anywhere I have it growing in three different places and it does well anywhere um, but if you could get it go if you could get it going on for yourself I feel like this is definitely a plant that at some point you might really appreciate or somebody that you know might really appreciate mm-hmm so now I cleaned them off to show you what they look like, but for my personal purposes, I am just going to harvest them like kind of quick. Like I start at the bottom and I just slide up the stem and all of them come off. And yeah, there's definitely some riffraff. Here's two riffraffs right here. Um, there's definitely some riffraff in there, but I'll clean it and sort it either now or next year when I go to plant them somewhere or sprinkle the seeds somewhere, you know, um, if I find a good spot where I think like I, I think it should grow like maybe at my mom's house and that she won't mow it over. Um, I'll just sprinkle some of this stuff there and let nature do its thing. Okay, so yeah, I got a big bowl. I'll probably just put it in a paper bag and, you know, let it dry out until whenever. Now, also while I'm here, I am sprinkling some back in the corners and in the next, like behind it, because it kind of wants to keep growing out farther. Um, these ones that are growing right here, I've... Last year when I um, harvested marshmallow, there was like little buds that like were, I harvested the roots. There was like these little growing buds that like were new starts on it. And I was like, well, I wonder what will happen if I plant them? Will they keep growing? And they did. So um, I did, I'm not going to harvest these ones this year at all, as long as I don't have to. But I know where they're at if I would run out. But I have like bags of roots in the freezer. So I should be good. I should have enough um, but anyways yeah and I should have enough seeds to propagate and spread um, somewhere next year and uh, maybe get somebody hooked on growing this and you know just know where I can find it in multiple places because yeah this is one herb I think we absolutely definitely need so do you want to see my slimy marshmallow water I'll show you how I make it all right, we're inside and I actually, I lied to you. I'm not gonna show you how I make it. I'm not, <laughs> because, because I already have some made up. Um, so I take the fresh roots and I put them in the Vitamix with some water and I, and I blend them up, shred, up, shred them up with the blender and it turns to like instant slime. And then I keep this in the fridge and I keep adding Look at it, it's so bloop, 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 yeah. Um, as I'll pour some out into my glass, then I'll add water and I keep doing that um, until it smells funny. Like I'll do it for like a few days, but like this week I really needed it to be slimy. So once it lost its, its snotty, slimy wonderfulness, then I would make more or add more roots because I really wanted it thick. But, you know, cause as the days go on, it's not as thick. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm not gonna make some up in the blender right now. Um, cause it's just like loud and like there's the roots. I keep the roots literally just in a plastic bag that I dug up, cleaned washed use an old bread bag there's extra roots back there in my dirty freezer and um i'll break these up into pieces best i can and uh put them in the blender yeah I'll just whirl it up and sometimes it's so loud i'm like please don't break the vitamix because <laughs> because you know how much a vitamix is and and this was a replacement blender container how they get off charging $200 for a plastic container, I don't know. But, you know, once you get hooked on the Vitamix, you'll get that replacement if you need it. Side, side tangent. <laughs> so you give it, I give it like a slosh back and forth and then I let it sit for just like one minute. All the roots sink to the bottom and then I can put on my strainer. 
measurer thing. Um, and I will, I'll put it in my, my cup. <laughs> so let's see if I can show you here. Um, it's real thick and you kind of have to give it time to slime. See, like you actually see it sliming out because it is thick. So anyways, it's thick. It's saving me and um it i mean truly it is so comforting and moisturizing you can just take a, a drink of it and hold it in your mouth and just feel like everything going ah But what if you don't have fresh marshmallow? What about the people watching that's like, um, I need it now. I need it sooner than that. Okay, get on some place that sells herbs. Um, you can actually buy marshmallow root powdered. You could put some of the powdered dried root in water. That would become slimy. That would feel good. Now, back up to my back up to my back up. <laughs> I have dried roots. Yeah, so now these I would not put in like the Vitamix and just grind them up because they're dry. They need to be like reconstituted. These roots are good for decoctions, aka tea that you simmer on the stove. So you can order dried roots like this and you can make your own decoction on the stove. That would also feel really good in your body. Or yeah, like I said, you can get the powdered stuff too and just drink some sludge. Um, but these these are, these are do make the tea slimy. Um, if you go to the store and get the throat coat, traditional medicinal tea, that has marshmallow root in it and licorice and a bunch of other good stuff. But they put marshmallow root in those type of teas because yeah, they make you feel good. <laughs>